Hey there, this is Red. It's time for another episode of Red Plays. So we've got the Hulk deck out on the board there. We're going Hulk Justice, and we're going to see if we can take out Claw. Now, I've done some modifications to my Justice deck, and maybe we'll hit those up at the end here, and I'll tell you my theory about them. We'll see. We'll wait and see if I'm ashamed of how the deck performs, or if it does what I think it's supposed to do. And then I can happily talk about what I think it's supposed to do. So let's get going here. We've got uh, Claw on the board. We've got Underground Distribution. So we've got our defense network that comes out as part of Underground Distribution. What we need is a minion. So let's see what we come up with for a minion. Uh, nope. Oh, those are good things to get out of there. All right, Whirlwind. He's not too bad to start out with there. You know, you kind of like a weapons runner, but, you know, of the things that could be there... Whirlwind's not bad. All right, so let's grab five cards. One, two, three, four, five, and see what we come up with here. So, um, we've got some Agent Coulson, some Target Acquired, a Helicarrier. Ooh, wow, we got our van. Our van would be nice to get out right off the start. That would really help with the Hulk stuff. But I think Agent Col uh so there's so many ways to go here. I think any of these three would be great. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these two. Um, and then we're going to draw two cards. And we're going to see if we can get some big resources. And we didn't. We got a suborbital leap and uh, kind of a beatdown. So that didn't really help with any of the ways that I was thinking we would go. All right. So let's draw a card. And we're going to discard a card. All right. And so we're gonna have to get rid of one of these. So let's look at what it is we think we're gonna do. I would really like to get Agent Coulson into play. But if I do that, the problem with getting Agent Coulson into play is that I'm gonna go, I could go get a, well, then I can go get a, um, sorry, I'm blanking here. So then I can go get a preparation card. When I get a preparation card, I can drop it for a one cost card. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to get rid of our unstoppable force here. Now, actually, what we're doing is pretty much all hero or alter ego stuff. We could do it all at alter ego. So there's Agent Coulson. We're going to use Agent Coulson's ability to go after preparation card. And we're going to go get an espionage. So there we go. There's one on the bottom. Uh, we'll get an espionage and just... So the reason I can use Coulson to get espionage is because I can only do that if I've got a spy character and Coulson's a shield spy, right? So I can drop espionage out there. So I'm running espionage in this deck. That's part of the weirdness of this deck is I've got espionage that relies on spies. So there we go. Um, and we used our band of Blair espionage. All right. Now, what are we going to do? with what we've got out there. I think we're going to flip over to Hulk. We're going to do a little bit of a smackaroo on Whirlwind, knock him down three. We'll start working him down a little bit. And then I think we're going to use Agent Coulson and we're going to thwart, oop, we're going to thwart a couple off of the defense network and start getting that out of the way. All right, we're going to be done. And we're going to draw four cards. One, two, three, four. All right. Let's see what we got here. We've got uh, Hulk Smash, Crushing Blow, Avengers Mansion, and Counterintelligence. So what the heck? Where's my super resources? They're not happening yet. All right, Villain's turn. One threat on the main scheme. Claw is going to come attack the Hulk, and the Hulk's going to take it. And we've got two boost cards, and we're looking at, uh, let's see here, giving the villain tough, and he's going to do one damage. So tough, I'm going to take one damage. And then I'm going to take two from Whirlwind. So I'm going to take three damage total. All right, then we need an encounter card. Encounter card is a solid sound body. Okay. Those are annoying, I hate those. Okay, that is the end of the villain's turn. We're over to the hero's turn. All right, so what we're looking at hero-wise is we could get counterintelligence out there. That's an option. 
Uh, what I am, but I'm not thrilled with that option. So what I think I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to use my, I would really like to get my Avengers Mansion out there, but I don't have four resources. I could flip to Hulk or I could flip to Banner and try to make that happen, but I don't think that it's worth it. Hulk smash. I could use Coulson to ping the tough. Well, there's an option. If I do that, that uses up Coulson. I can ping the tough off of Claw, and then I can Hulk smash into... Let's do that, because that sounds like fun. So Coulson is going to attack Claw. We're going to take the tough off of him. Unfortunately, that's one consequential damage for Coulson, plus one retaliate from the Claw. That's kind of sad, but I think it pays off in the end, because now what I can do is I can do a... Uh, these three... Oh, I can't because I need to. Well, I can do these three, and Claw should be at twelve. Let's let's knock him down a couple of hit points because he's not super Claw yet. I can do these three and do a Hulk smash. So we're gonna do thirteen straight into Claw. All right, so we're gonna bring Claw to. Whoa! I'm putting him in the wrong thing. Let's put him away in the right thing. So we're gonna do thirteen right into Claw, and we're gonna take out the first Claw. I'm going to bring out Claw 2. Now, those tokens I just got rid of, now I need to put them right back on there. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to take one Retaliate damage. We need the Immortal Claw to come into play, which I don't think I saw yet, so... Where's the Immortal Claw? There's the Immortal Claw. Okay. Immortal Claw! Alright. Kind of would have liked to have overrun Whirlwind, but we'll save that for another round. We get we can take another round of damage, I think, before we have to worry about it. I don't want to switch to Coulson at, or to Banner at this point. I think I want to take another round, so we'll be done there. I'm gonna draw four cards. So one, two, three, four. All right, what do we got here? We got some suborbital leaping going on, some counterintelligence, and some thunderclap. All right, this is a very thwarty Hulk. All right, so um, what's going to happen on the villain's turn? We're going to put two threat on the main scheme because we've got the normal one, plus we've got the immortal claw out there. Claw is going to come attack the Hulk. We're going to take two cards, two boost cards, and we're going to take two and none, and we get an advance out of the way. Yes! So the two plus one is three, so we're going to ratchet one of these twos up to a five. And then we're going to take another two from Whirlwind. All right, now we need an encounter card. So encounter card is... Oh, it's an advance. <laughs> I thought I got one out of there and I was all excited. So yay, we managed to get rid of advance in. We got another one. All right, so he's going to scheme. He schemes for two. He's going to get a bonus of... That's a one. So he's going to scheme for three, which is going to be enough to pop the underground distribution. So, Underground Distribution is done. We need a minion comes out when the Secret Rendezvous comes out. So, we get a Weapons Runner. Okay. And it was on the top there, so that worked out pretty good. All right, Villain's Turn is done. We're over to the Hero Turn. So, what are we doing hero-wise? So, hero-wise, things that we could do, we could Suborbital Leap and get rid of the Immortal Claw. That's that's definitely an option. Another option is to get Counterintelligence out of there, because I think we're going to go Banner this round. Another option is we could go um, Thunderclap. Take out the Weapons Runner, take out Whirlwind, do three to the Claw. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go this route here. So we're going to Thunderclap. And that's going to give us... Three to a Weapons Runner, three to Whirlwind, and three to the Claw with no Retaliate, which we like not getting retaliated against. Um, at that point in time, we're going to... Hulk's going to attack the Claw, so we're going to take one more damage. That's going to put us up to ten. 
Then we're going to do three damage to him and knock him down to 12. All right. And then we're going to flip over to Banner. As Banner, we're going to use our draw card and discard a card. So we're going to draw, well, a Helicarrier. That didn't help us any. Um, we're going to get rid of our Helicarrier. That's going to be the end of our turn. We're going to drop our counterintelligence and keep our suborbital leap. We're going to be done. We're going to draw up to five. So one, two, three, four more cards. So we've got some Beat Cop, some Hulk Smash, and a suborbital leap. All right. Villain's turn. What's happening on the villain's turn? First off, we're going to put two threat on the main scheme. The Claw is going to see Banner out there, so the Claw is going to scheme. He schemes for two. He's going to get a boost of two, so he's going to scheme for four. So we're on six. We're six on out of eight already. That's a bit on the scary side. All right, so we're going to see what our encounter card is. A Assault. So if it's Alter Ego, he's going to gain Surge. So the good thing is I have my Espionage out here. And I can play my Espionage that says when something's going to Surge, I get to draw two cards. So this is going to Surge. We're going to draw two cards. One, two. All right. Villain's going to get another card because we're Surging. We're going to get Sonic Boom. We're going to either spend three or exhaust each character that I control. All right, so spending one of each is not possible. So Banner's gonna be exhausted. All right, that is a bit frustrating going into this round because I had a plan and that, that hosed up the plan. <laughs> I don't have one of each. I've got lots of physical and I got a wild, but I don't have the energy resource. Okay, so that's the end of the villain's turn. We're over the hero's turn. So hero-wise, we're going to use Banner's ability to draw a card, and we can discard a card. So there's a Daredevil. That's Daredevil's interesting. Um, we can use Daredevil to get rid of our resourceful. I don't know if that's going to matter a whole lot. may wish that back later. So our problem that we have is we don't have a way to do our basic attacks, so or Hulk Smash seems to be out of play at this point. All right, so what does that leave us with other options? Um, fortunately, we have our defense network out there, so we can't get rid of that. We could suborbital leap and get rid of the immortal claw. We can then, at that point in time, we've got three, and we could beat cop. Or actually, we've got four, so we could do four and get Daredevil out there. That seems like an all right thing to do. All right, so we're gonna go over, in order to make all this happen, we need to be Hulk. So as Hulk, we're going to suborbital leap and we're gonna take five threat off of, we're gonna get rid of the Immortal Claw. All right, so Immortal Claw is gonna be gone. We're gonna spend four. We're gonna put Daredevil in play. So Daredevil is going to thwart. He's going to thwart for two. And we're going to take two off of... Oh, we have to take it off of here. All right, when we do that, we get to do one damage to an enemy. So we're going to knock the claw down to 11. All right, we're done. We're going to draw up to four cards. One, two, three, four. All right. Got Lockjaw and a lot of Power of Justice. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Villain's turn. We're going to put one threat on the main scheme. Uh, Claw's going to come attack the Hulk. Hulk's going to take this one. We've got 18 hit points. We should be okay. We're going to take two damage because we have a one there and then our boost says if this activation deals damage, exhaust your hero. So Hulk's going to be exhausted yet again. It's a very exhausting time for the Hulk. Um, he takes two damage. Okay, we need an encounter card. 
Counter card is, oh, Radioactive Man. Also known as Annoying Man has come into play. All right. Um, what are we doing hero-wise? So I think we're doing a Mockingbird. So Mockingbird's going to come into play. We're going to throw a stun on the claw. We are going to thwart for two, which does a damage to an enemy. We're going to uh, we're going to go ahead and thwart for one, give us some breathing room there, and we'll be done. All right, we're going to untap. We're going to draw four cards. One, two, three, four. All right, bump, bump, bump. We got a Nick Fury, but we don't have the stuff to play a Nick Fury. We got a beat cop. All right, villain's turn. What do we got going down here? We're gonna put a threat on the main scheme. Claw would attack, but he's stunned. Whoa, so he doesn't. Radioactive man says, after radioactive man attacks you, discard one card at random from your hand. So he's gonna hit me for one. I'm gonna lose a card. And we're probably going to use our Beat Cop, which is the one that I kind of wanted. So, let's see here. And, yep, it's the Beat Cop, of course. All right, that's going to leave us with three cards. Boy. All right, so where are we going from there? Uh, we need an encounter card. It's going to be Masters of Mayhem, so he's going to attack again. We're going to take one again, so we're at 14, and we're going to discard another card. That's okay. I wasn't going to do anything anyway, so it's not like it matters a whole lot. All right, so we're going to discard this time. It's Nick Fury is going away, and we've got two espionages out there. All right, so now I think the villain's done. Now that he's messed me up enough, I think he's, he's completed his task. All right, so what I think we're going to do is, hey, let's put an espionage into play. I think that's what we'll do. Um, as the Hulk, we're going to attack the Claw for three. So we're going to take another point of damage. So we're at 15, and we're going to knock him down to seven. Let's see here. We will have... Daredevil Thwart again for two. We'll knock this down to three. And Daredevil's going to go away, and we're going to put one damage on the claw. He's down to six. And then I think we're going to have Mockingbird Thwart also, because we're trying to give ourselves some breathing room here. That's going to put her at two. And we're going to go over to Banner. And we're done. All right, villain's turn. So this is really scary because I think Claw can easily get six in a round. So uh, we need five cards. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Doop, doop, doop. We're riding a thin line here. Okay, villain's turn. We put one thread on the main scheme. Claw's gonna scheme. He schemes for two and we're gonna get Zero. All right. So he's going to scheme for two. React Man's going to scheme for one. We're going to put three on. All right. We're going to draw an encounter card. Encounter card is Masters of Evil. So we're going to discard cards until a Masters of Evil comes out. And that's going to get three on it. Two, three. All right, so let's look for our Masters of Evil. We have not a Masters of Evil, not a Masters of Evil. It's the Melter. All right. That is the end of the villain's turn. We're over to the hero's turn. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to discard a card to get a card. We're going to discard target acquired. We're going to get a card, and we get... A movable object. All right. 
and go over to Hulk. We need to come up with six damage, which I think we can do because we can. One, two. We're going to get a quake out there. Hulk attacks for three, which is going to move me up to 16. And moves Claw from five or from six down to three. I think we're just going to get it. Uh, Mockingbird attacks for one, which is going to take her out from the retaliate damage and the consequential damage. Quake attacks for two. That takes out the Claw. Da -da! All right. So we've got a justice win. It was by the skin of our teeth there, but that was a justice win. Actually, almost everything how I hoped it would play didn't really happen. So let's do a little quick deck breakdown of what we got here. So uh, let's move this stuff out of the way. So the, the concept behind the deck is Hulk cards let Hulk do Hulk things. And the other part of our deck, really we're kind of playing into the dual personality where the other part of the deck is doing non-Hulk, like let the Hulk cards do the Hulk stuff. And then we're going to go totally outside of Hulk stuff um, on the other side on our basic and our justice cards. So let's see what we've got here. Boop, 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 boop. All right. So we've got a lot of allies. So Mockingbird, Spy. Quake, not a spy. Daredevil, not a spy, but he's just kind of awesome. Nick Fury, Spy. Lockjaw, not a spy, but awesome. And we got more, we got more allies. Oh, Coulson, spy. So we've got three spies in here. So having three spies in there, I think helps with the espionage. And I got a bunch of those in there, so I can do espionage. We got espionage all day. And we got two of those in there. And then let's see here, we got the beat cops. Of course we got the beat cops. Like how can you not have the beat? Oh, there's my other recipe, Naj. How can you not have the beat cops? Um, we have some counterintelligence. And the idea behind the counterintelligence is to help us in our banner turns, right? Because banner's smart and he helps. When in the movies, he's like standing around helping plan the thing. So he is one of the counterintelligence guys. Surveillance van, because you got to have that. That's that's a part of any Justice deck. Like, I think you, it, it's a given. So, like, I think these four cards right here, your surveillance van and your beat cops are just, uh, it's going to be a part of any, any game. Um, so, other than that, what we've got going on is things to help with Hulk's cost curve, which is significant when you're Hulk, right? So... We've got a double resource. Didn't put all the double resources in there because um, I'm trying to keep physical. We're trying to stay towards the physical side because a lot of Hulk's resources take physical resources. So then we've got some reduce the resources. We've got the powers of justice because there's a lot of justice cards in here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine justice cards in here, right? Well, 10, 11. Um, and if you look at the justice cards, they're not cheap justice cards. All of the justice cards cost two or more. So if I hit a power of justice, it makes sense because I've got expensive justice cards. Otherwise, I act as a wild and can feed into some of the physical resources that I need. Uh, things to consider taking out of here. I'm not sure that the counterintelligences are doing me a whole lot of good. Um, they, they may be good if I do like a double banner turn, but haven't gotten into that yet. Also, I've had Hulk turns where they've been okay to play out. The, the espionage has worked out really well. Been happy with that. I would probably take out target acquired if I was doing something other than claw. Um, I'm not sure that two helicarriers is a good idea. And these are just kind of in there cut just because. So... Where I found resourceful, one of the re ways that resourceful comes in handy is when I've got Banner's Lab in there, I can do a Banner's Lab, put a resourceful out, and then use that on the Hulk's turn as a resource, right? Because normally Banner's Lab is only usable by Banner, and there's not a whole lot of things, usually. So I say usually there's not a whole lot of things to do. A lot of what's in this deck can be done um, on our 
on our banner turn. So I can play all of this on banner. I can play all of that on banner. I can play these on banner, but I have to do them as hero. Um, banner, 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 banner. That's all banner stuff. So this is a hero resource. So my my hero cards are really right here and all in here. There's a lot in here. So what I can do potentially is really fill out my hand with um, using the espionages and being able to go to banner. The idea is to be able to fill out my hand with cards. So when I go to Hulk, Hulk can really lay down lay down the law. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it works out. That was a close one. But what I will say is I didn't draw very well. Like the things that I wanted to draw together, I don't feel like I drew them at the right time. Which is good that I was actually able to succeed because normally when I play Hulk and I don't draw like the, th the right things, then he's just totally hosed. Like, but this seemed to work out okay, not getting what I, the, the perfect combos that I needed all of the time. So I'm happy with that. So um and it just edged out at the end I, I will totally admit that there was just barely a win at the end there so all right that's it we'll probably give this justice deck another run if i can beat standard again we'll take it up to expert uh and then try to try a try to see if we can get a hulk expert win against claw which would be really cool i want to move on from claw um, but i feel like there is an expert win within my grasp it's there i can get to it so that's what we're working towards so that's it for now. If you got comments, leave them below and thanks for watching.